Welcome to the transition training for MDEX administration and master data review. Before we begin, I would like to review a few points. This course is designed for users transitioning from MDEX forms to MDEX Kona. Users involved in updating master records such as managers and administrative staff are encouraged to watch this video. All setup and configurations that were previously available in forms will be available in Kona. In addition to this, all historical information will also be available for you on the new platform. Please note, the training environment is a copy of your production environment. There may be some differences depending on when the last copy was made. Rest assured, when you transition over to the new platform, all the information will be up to date. Access to Kona training platform will be provided to you once you request for the transition, and your usernames and passwords will be the same as you use today. And finally, we strongly recommend that you watch this video in a quiet environment. This, take note of any, take note of any important information that you may have for your role, jot down any questions that you may have, and feel free to join our online training sessions related to this topic. If you have any questions, always you can reach out to us. Now, let's get started with the training. In this course, you'll learn how to review and update your corporate setup manager and user setup. You will also learn how to review your unit master, parts master, customer records, and vendor records. Let's start off by reviewing your MDEX corporate setup manager. Go to administration and click on corporate setup manager. This screen allows you to view your previously set up configuration. The following information is transferred over to MDEX Kona when you transition. Corporate setup details, regions and facilities, corporate location, repair location, warehouses, your tax override, any surcharges that you may have set up, any global system parameters, any corporate and user defaults that may have been set up in the past, and any invoice level setup. Any invoice level setup includes any of the logos that you may have set up previously. Next, let's review the user and employee manager. These screens are mainly for your reference, but changes can also be made to user and employee rights and restrictions. You can control user and employee level defaults in this setup by going to administration, user accounts, and user manager. The user manager screen allows you to issue any unused licenses that you may have. It also allows you to take a look at any features, screens, reports, and dashboards that this particular user has access to. It allows you to see any regions and locations and warehouses this user is assigned to, along with any particular user defaults that this role is assigned to. The Employee Manager screen allows you to review any employee level setup. Again, you'll go to Administration, User Accounts, and Employee Manager. The Employee Manager screen details such information such as address, location, driver's licenses, contact details, their phone number, the type of employee, the locations, any uh, working hours they may have, any vacations they maybe have coming up, and any certifications that they have. It also allows you to set up any hourly costs and employee level details if you click on edit. You can again go to the security tab and take a look at the licenses that that particular employee is assigned to. And you can also review any features in actions, screens, reports, and dashboards that they have access to. Now let's review the master records in MDEX. The main components of your master data includes unit records, your parts information, as well as any customer and vendor records that you may have. Let's start off by reviewing your unit master. You will access the unit master by going to unit fleet and then unit master. This screen allows you to see all units that are available in your system at a glance. You can click on any individual unit or search for unit by unit number, VIN number, etc. You can also check, on any, check in on any unit for repair in the unit master. When you click on the unit, you're able to view all the details related to the particular unit. 
For example, if I click on Unit 999, this includes any previously set up SRT groups or PM groups, any previously set up PM schedules, any work order history, and other asset specifications. You can make modifications to the Unit Master by clicking on the green plus to add a particular PM group, or if you wanted to make any modifications to the unit number or description, you can simply type over this information. Click on Save and Exit. Next, let's review the Part Master by going to the Parts menu and clicking on the Part Master. This screen allows you to see all the parts in MDEX, including stock parts and non-stock parts, active and inactive parts. For non-stock parts, click on the Non-Catalog Parts tab in the bottom. Moving back to the Parts Master, let's review the parts details which are available for you in MDEX Kona. To access the part details, click on the part in the Part Master. The Part Master Detail screen allows you to review part settings, part costing, pricing, stock availability, replenishment settings, any tax overrides, along with any pictures and historical information about the part. Any part information that you had set up in forms will be automatically available to you in Kona. A few things to note about the Part Master. Any fields that show the asterisks are fields that are required. When you create a new part, these fields will be required. To make changes to any field, simply type over the information that's existing in the field or select that information from a drop-down menu. You can add an, another option if you wish by clicking on the green plus to add a new part group, for example. Thank you for watching today's video. You can uh, join us on any of our online classes as well. If you'd like more information on any of the topics that we have covered today, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to us by logging a ticket on our service desk. So if you were to go back to our help center, if you go to support.mdex.com, scroll down, click on need to raise a request and click on report an issue or ask a question, fill out the information in the form and submit that to us. I hope you learned a few things about our new system. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at support.mdex.com or if you have any questions, again, you can contact us at 1-888-205-8817. Thanks for watching and have a great day.